Big Weave here in Little Weave. I thought you weren't going to wear that hat. It looks cute. Of course I'm going to wear it. It's cold. It's not cold. We're in the fish room. It's, it's cold warm. outside. Anyways, go grab yourself a cold one and get ready for Beer Weaving Fish Episode 5. What is White Claw? We're not... Everybody's tired of the white claw. Anyway, she's gonna get the hat off and grab something other than a white claw. And we'll be back. Beer weaving fish. I was thinking about you. Like drinking a sun tea. So here we are. Big weave. Episode five. You excited? In the little weave. And the little weave. She'll never let me forget her. And how could you? The queen. Other than she did not take that hat off and I could not get that hat off. So here we go. This week <laughs> we are drinking. What are you drinking? White Claw. Really? Boring. The lime. So I am drinking the Raging Bitch. I think he, yeah, I think you definitely just bought that so you could say Raging Bitch in your video. Raging Bitch beer. <laughs> It's got the dog Told on the you, front. Told you he enjoys it. The dog on the front, it's vagina hanging out. I don't know if that's appropriate, but it's on there. It's by Flying Dog Breweries. And this tasty treat is 8.3% alcohol. It's actually a good beer. I probably could have drank one of those. Do you want one? I probably could. Let's do away with the White Claw. Hey, there you go, mama. Where's my glass? You're not refined like me. I've never not been refined. Does she deserve a glass? I suppose. Anyways, my favorite beer glass got broke last week. So. What is up with him and breaking glasses? I didn't break it, she broke it. Not me, I didn't, she broke it. I didn't break it. You knocked it off the table. I think he's drinking a little too much beer. Nah, probably not. So. This is going to have to be my new favorite glass. It's Baby Yoda. Little Grogu. Do, but you're giving this glass to me? Well, we need to get another one then. Going to have to pause. Glass time. Hey guys. I just wanted you to notice one thing. Who went to get the glass? I ain't go get the glass. He went to get the glass. Not the queen. Pretty sure I'm pretty important. All right, we're back. I got Mama the, her glass because she thinks she needs to be refined, like the big weave. I got the gimme gimme glass. Baby Yoda. Kind of like gimme gimme gimme. That's how she is. Gimme 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 all the time. Hmm. Are you gonna pour my beer? Yes, since you're refined. Make sure pour. it's the perfect pour. I always have the perfect pour. Look at that, guys. Perfect pour. I don't know. There's quite a bit of head on there. You like a lot of head. Ha! Ah, don't you think you're funny? Anyways, your turn. Hold the glass. I held that glass. You got to pour. Let's see whose pour is better. We need to take a vote on this because I think my pour is better. Mm-hmm, four, four, four. Here we go, here we go, here we go, and how's she gonna end it? Boom. Not Perfect enough. Perfect amount of head. Not Look, enough. Okay, not enough let's head. compare. Look not at my head. Too much head. No, that that's perfect. No. You gotta have a little bit on your lip. I feel like I need to put some salt in it, maybe it'll go down. You Here. don't put salt in this. Great, beer. let's try it. There okay. we go. Trade. Problem solved. Marriage life. I don't want a mustache. So here we go. First sip. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Episode five. It's a good beer. What do you think of it? It's a good beer. Does it seem strong? Mm. It's pretty hoppy. So if you guys like hoppy beers, it's I'd a good IPA. It is a. It's actually a Belgium IPA. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, fancy, fancy pants. 
and refined. Very refined. And I know this brewery has like four or five different beers. <clears throat> this is the only one I've ever tried. So, anyways, one more bonus sip. Oh, I already took one. You can't take sips out of sip time. When are you going to learn? Well, I take a sip when I want a sip. I need a sip. It's kind of like, gimme, give gimme, give gimme give sip. Mm. Whatever. Anyways, sip time. So, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Pretty, yeah. pretty special time for us. Um, this year, like last year, we pretty much did nothing. Because yeah. of... Special. Yeah. It was really special. I actually ordered her something. Yeah, this that, is the best part. You're saving the best part for first. Yeah, best part for first. Let's get it out of the way. So I ordered her something decent and um, it didn't come. So I had nothing for her on Valentine's Day. Yeah, it was supposed to arrive to my work on Friday. Yeah, Friday. And I didn't get it till Tuesday. Yep. Was it Tuesday or Thursday? Or it Wednesday? Was Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday? It was Tuesday. I didn't even know they delivered in the snowstorm. Well, they did. Tuesday. Well, I guess it was Tuesday. And it was still alive, so that's good. Yeah. Who orders live plants, sends it to a business that is closing at 1 on a Friday? All I could think was... This dude did. Yeah. I tried. Happy oh, well. Valentine's Day. Huh. <laughs> anyway, so... Hey, wait. Wait. You gotta tell them what I got you. Oh, that's what I was getting to. So this is pretty So exciting. evidently mine was more important, or my gift was more important than yours just to get this. Best for last? Yeah. Yeah. Yours was. You sucked at the gift giving this year. She and did. here's the guy that usually, you know, every Valentine's Day, we go on a trip. We do. And we'll get to that. So, anyways, because of Beer Weaving Fish, I think this gave her the idea. She signed me up for this awesome beer club. So, every other month, I believe, I get 12 new beers from breweries all over the United States. So, Beer Weaving Fish is around for a while. And I'm exciting. You're exciting? I'm, I am exciting. I'm <laughs> not excited, but I'm exciting too. It'll be fun. Will you get a taste? these brewery beers from all over the world and I think you get two kinds no two kinds from each brewery total of 12 beers in each box and one is guaranteed to be award-winning so we're I'm excited. excited you guys should be excited you're gonna find out about all these cool beers and yeah we're gonna tell you how they taste as soon as they come we'll do the unboxing on the next beer we've been fish and go from there yeah. We might have to set the box outside because I probably want them cold. I need a cold beer. Unless it's a gift. We have two fridges. True. Anyways, so what did you guys do on your Valentine's Day? Because we did nothing. Well, we played games. My glass got broke. Hey, guys, all my kids made me cards. That was pretty amazing. Us cards, I should say. Oh, they did. Drew pictures. One wrote me a song. Yep. One was just very loving. And one probably didn't put very much time in it at all. So I don't know. But they were all awesome. And I love them all. They were great. Those are the best. If you guys are a parent, hey, those I, are the best. I had to bribe them though. You know how those kids are. You're not getting your Valentine's gifts. I, I told them, I said, you want a Valentine's, maybe you need to make me a Valentine's. So that's that's how you get Valentine's from the kids. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Valentine's Day afternoon. They took a bunch of construction paper up to their rooms, got to work. Yeah. That's how it works out. But anyway, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful day, and at least I got a Valentine from somebody. I got you a card. A card. Well, the other didn't come. Anyways, sip time. Hey, he made a great steak, too. Oh, we grilled out steaks in the snow. That was exciting. The snowstorm hit later that night, but we got them. They were good. They were very good. We got a new steak store in town, and Excellent. it was good. Excellent. Good meat. 
So. Hey, do you know those people that uh, own that steak store? They go to our church. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, so I feel like I did kind of fail this Valentine's Day, but I haven't always failed. Not always. Not always. So one of the first Valentine's Day trips, if you remember, that we went on, because we started this tradition of going to Columbus on Valentine's Day and getting a hotel for a couple nights and going to some local bars and things like that. And the first one was almost a disaster. It was a snowstorm. Had the hotels booked. Guys, I just want to tell you one thing. We're dating at this time. I went out and bought all new outfits for this weekend getaway. I was looking my sharpest. Just want to point that out there that's before how, I get in the dirty, dirty, gritty. That's how she hooked me. I that's was, before she started. I was looking good. Before she started wearing these hats indoors. Hey, we're in the basement. It's cold down here. No, it's like 78. But anyway, so... It still looks this cute. story started out kind of a disaster. We went to a local pancake breakfast for some reason at a school that morning. I got free tickets. Oh, you got or bought that. It went one way or the other, but they had this pancake breakfast with sausage and everything every year on Valentine's Day, and we start started there. I think I got free tickets. Yeah, from yeah, Mark. I think you did. Yeah. Because we had to use them. So we stopped for breakfast and had pancake breakfast. Then we started the drive, which is about an hour. And I think it ended up taking about two and a half hours because we ran into a snowstorm. Snowstorm of the year, yes. And it was we, a big snowstorm. And of course we were in the Mitsubishi. You were, I was just going to say, we were in my, my 2003 Mitsubishi Eclipse that was just fabulous in the snow. Oh man. That was a horrible drive. And then we got I think we about died like three times. We did. We did. So we get down to the hotel. It was the it was a Hilton Garden Inn or something like that. This is a small hotel. And it was nice. It was nice. We unpacked and then It was a nice hotel. We drank at the bar for a little bit. And then no, we went out to dinner at Caravas. And that was a good time. That was a real good dinner. I'm winning at this point. That was a good dinner. It was a real good dinner. And then I think we went back to the hotel. Had and, some drinks. Guys, I did an outfit change. I went from oh, yeah. dressy to sexy. And remember, outfit change. at this point when we were dating, she would come on Fridays and bring 30 outfits to change into over the weekend. Yeah, whatever. Not anyway. 30. Anyways. But, okay. Sip time. I need a sip. So we go back to the hotel. She changes her clothes. And, um... We, then we drink at the hotel we, bar. We drink at the hotel bar. And then we went to... I can't... I think it was called Dave & Buster's or something like that. It had video games and drinks. Fail. Completely fail. I was annoyed. We're on this romantic date night. I'm looking hot. No kids. I want to go to something classy because classy she and fun she's classy. and do something. I didn't want to. These were silly kid games and there was kids running around everywhere. It was everywhere. like a Chuck E. Cheese with alcohol. It was a Chuck E. Cheese with alcohol and it was like the one weekend we didn't have our children. Yeah, failed there. But then we made up, I made it up, because we went to a pub in Polaris, and I can't remember, I don't even think it's around anymore, but they were playing Irish music, they had great appetizers, you were given some... Yeah, because we tried to find that again, and yeah. I don't think we could. No, we couldn't. And I remember, this is what my wife does when we're out drinking. She usually finds some sad girl and tries to give her relationship advice when she's drunk, and the other girl's drunk, and it's just a hot mess. That's not what I do when I'm drinking. It just so happened to be there. The situation was there. I can name like 20 times where you... You cannot name 20. Let's hear these. 
Anyways. That did happen. However, you can't name 20 times. Just saying. There was a handful of them. So we had a lot of fun there. No, because the one time I gave relationship advice to the one guy. The Remember one that? guy. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, I think. I guess I'm more something. of a problem fixer than a. Than a what? Where are you going with that? A uh, problem solver? Because <laughs> isn't a fixer and a solver the same thing? Because that's what you were going to say. <laughs> I was going to say a problem maker. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Moving on our on our first Valentine's Day date, we got back to the hotel, and I don't really remember what happened. We got back to, the, you know how we got back to the hotel? We because we called an Uber, but no, then we didn't call an Uber there. We called an actual taxi. Oh, a taxi! Because he kept calling my phone because we left. But all of a sudden, we noticed our hotel bus. The hotel bus was there. We didn't even know the hotel had a bus, a shuttle. So, we hopped on the hotel bus with the other people going back to the hotel. And that's how we got back. Yeah, and I never came. The Uber couldn't even... No, no the sorry, taxi. the taxi couldn't even find us. They no. was having trouble finding us. And he kept, he kept call calling. Yeah, he kept calling because we just kind of ignored it. I don't even know how we remember this. By this time, we were pretty... Pretty... We were having a good time. Toasted. We were in party mode back in those years. Now we just have beer, weave, and fish. Mm -hmm. But we got back to the hotel, and I think we just partied at the bar at the hotel for the rest of the night, didn't we? No. So I don't really remember what happened. I think we had one drink at the hotel bar, hmm. and then they closed it down because it was a garden inn and wasn't, like, hop-hopping, like, downtown Columbus. Yeah, the, I... They probably had all the chairs on the table. Oh! I remember what happened. Light down. Sip time. Don't break my glass. Baby Yoda, you guys watch uh, Baby what, Yoda? It's a great show. Number oh, before I forget, I'm going to upload next week. We got the second to the last episode of Zuri and Mommy Time. It's all recorded. Just got to finish editing. Going to get that up. I thought okay. you were doing that today. Or yesterday. Anyways, I'm getting to it. It takes time. This is a lot of work. This is like a, a third job for me. Okay. Fourth job. I got four jobs. I got work. Last time I checked, he has one. Work, fish room, mama, kids, and now YouTube editing. Five jobs. He's nuts. Wow. Well, I have way more jobs than he does. Anyways, we're at the Don't hotel. Don't let him even feed you bull crap. Anyway, we get to the hotel. We have one more drink. We go back to the room. We each pour each other, I think, a glass of wine. Yeah, we were, yeah. And guess what happens? I oh. slip into the bathroom and I'm putting on, you know, the new... Victoria's Secret best outfit because I am going all out tonight. It's my first Valentine's with my honey. Within five minutes, he was asleep <laughs> on the bed. I think actually. There goes the white claw right where no! it deserves. That white claw belongs on the floor. That's so funny. Bye bye, White Claw. Woo! Good thing it wasn't open. I guess uh, White Claw. And oh, it dented and now it's leaking and. Oh, this is a White Claw fail. It's gonna start spraying. Well, oh my gosh, this is. Episode five is turning into a disaster. Okay, so anyway, it did. You gotta open it and let the pressure out. I don't really think. Oh, I don't have any nails. Yes. Sip it. Sip it. You just, you just let all the pressure out. Well, maybe it was just. Full. I think there's a piece of duckweed on it. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna try this first. No! Time. Don't touch my white claw. You can't down a drink and then try it. I only said yours was good. Sip time. So anyway, she's getting all all hot and ready and dressed in her third, I, fourth change of the I night. I don't know how many times I might have punched him that night. 
I don't think he remembers because he was asleep. You punched me? Probably so. I was mad. I was very, very mad. I was a tired boy. I was very mad in the morning too. She was, and that's all. I do not remember that night, but I do remember in the morning because I think she said about two words to me. But then he took me to a cool barbecue place. That was good. You remember that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that barbecue place was good. That was killer, but I wasn't. I wasn't gonna let that secret on. I was gonna tell him that. Mm mm. He was in the dog house again. I know. Which, by the way. What? I wanted to say this. So, as our Valentine's days have regressed, because. I mean, how many Valentine's Day trips did we go on? At least four, five? Yeah. And it was always a tradition. We went to <laughs> Columbus at a different hotel. and yeah. It was a big to-do. We had a blast every time we were gone. Um, but as the Valentine's regressed, I have to show you guys this. My panty size has two. Really? <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is the Valentine's Day card I got my husband. Ain't that the truth. We got a thong. We're dating. Really, we started up here. No underwear. Yeah. That... According to him when he opened it. So we got dating, a thong. We got engaged, <laughs> a cute... You know, but what do they call them? Butt cheeks. Cheekster. Cheekster, that's right. I have some of those. And then the just married and a little less of a cheekster, more hippish, hipper. And then we get to granny panties. I think, you know what's funny about that this morning? I said, man, babe, you look good in granny panties. <laughs> I think I even said that. Cheers to that. So then, I gotta read you the inside. Hold on, cheers. Slip time. I think I actually have to do the cheers part. Oh, it says, I love you. It says, just like my undies, my love for you grows greater with time. Happy Valentine's Day. With the little cute underwear on it. So, although he is regressed in his valentine's day she's filled in i guess i regressed a little bit too i don't know what happened i still like it's a cute one sometimes oh married life anyways we have a lot of we've fun. been so busy we, we have a whole so, fish room we do have a whole fish room and we're not going to get into too many details but we have new babies this week from a different breed. New babies breed. from a really cool breed. I'm uh, super excited about. Showed my friend earlier. The Telemacronus temporalis, I believe you say it. So they're a shell dweller and they got a little bump on their head. They kind of look. Brain. What was that show where that guy had that big brain? It was like a cartoon. I don't know. No, I think there was a cartoon about a guy with a big brain. I think that was, I think I know what you're talking about. It was a cartoon movie, though. Oh, that could be. Hmm. That's what these fish look like. And we're going to attach a video, right? To show them what the actual fish the mom and dad look. I'll try to get we a video. You. I'll try to get a video, yes, and attach it and play it while we're talking or whatever. Great. Wow. You know, they want this video on Saturday nights. Everybody wants bear weaving fish on Saturday nights. So everybody wants to have a beer on Saturday nights. They do. Cheers. Cheers. We record these on Friday nights. We go on date nights every every other Saturday night that we do beer, weave, and fish. We do them on Fridays, then we go on date night Saturdays because we don't have the kids. Well, we record every other Friday night. Too. Every other Friday we record. And then that Saturday we go on date nights. And then, 
Yeah, that's what we do. That's our little routine. And our youngest is in basketball right now, so we're there Saturday mornings. Every Saturday morning we got a basketball game, so morning, that's fun. Morning, afternoon. And then you got to slide in time for fish room, which takes up some time. <laughs> Kid time. Love and time. Keeps a busy schedule, but we have a lot of fun. And even though she's in granny panties, I... Um, no, wait. What? You said you had five jobs earlier. Let's think of mine. I got one, two, two jobs, regular jobs. I have, school. I have school. I have the kids. Yep. I have you. I'm not a job. You called me a job. You're definitely a job. I take care of you. Yeah, I mean, he can come a whiny baby when he's sick. I got fish room job. I have a. Uh, what do you do in the fish room other than look at the fish and say they're pretty? Oh, I know you didn't just say that. You're about to be smacked in your face. All right, anyways, keep going. Keep We're going. With my fish room job, beer weaving fish job. We're getting up there. Oh, take kids everywhere for their sports job. You don't do that one. And I go to gymnastics every Thursday. One day a week. We're at one day a week with him. I have... Yeah, I think there's probably five more jobs there, but I'm way overloaded. Cheers. Cheers to the queen. Gotta love her. We wouldn't have beer weaving fish without her. We started off just me. Still too much head left. No good. Now we have her. Was a good beer. Sweet. Yep. And this was a fun episode. Episode 5, Beer Weave and Fish. High five for episode 5. A little smooch. That's all I get this time? Guess we should have made it longer. Anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoy. Check out some of the other videos if I you're behind. I think you gave me a smooch last time. So it's my turn? No, it's your turn. I did give you a smooch on 4.5. Anyways, thank you, babe. And thank you guys for watching episode five, Bear Weaving Fish. Hey, girls still can be hot in granny panties. Oh yes, they can. Enjoy your night, I'm gonna enjoy mine. I was thinking